Nate the Great goes down in the dumps. I, Nate the Great, and my dog Saj were taking a walk. We walked to far. We walked to Rosamond House. Rosamond and her four cats were sitting on a crate behind a table in front of her house. There was a crystal ball on the table. There was a sign next to the crystal ball. I I will read your picture, Rosamond said. For two cents. My my future is worth more than two cents. I said. Three cents then, Rosamond said. The gate fell into the into her crystal ball. You will have a new case to solve very soon. Three cents. <coughs> I need the great. Always have cases to solve. I said. Rosamond gazed into her crystal ball again. I can't tell you more, she said. Someone has lost a box, a money box. You have to look for it. A money box? I said. How much money is in it? No money, Rosamond said. It's empty. Empty? Yes, it's my box. I was going to use it to hold the money I got. I got for reading the future. Sarge was talking at my at me to leave. He did not see any money in the Rosamond future. Don't go, Rosamond said. Listen to what happened. God help me, said of my bonus. Bonnet, we brought out the table, this side the table, and four cats of tuna fish for my cat. Cats want to know, want to know, what is their future too, like tuna fish. Of course, I said. I put the side on the table. Table, Rosamond said. I put the box on the grass near the table. I put the tuna fish can in the net, net, net pa, pile near the box. What happened next? I asked. My cat and I went into my house to get my crystal ball. Rosamond said. Cat went into my garage to get this, this crate. For my cat and me to me to sit on. When I came back with my crystal ball, the crate was, but the crate was there. Here, the table and the side, and the tuna fish can were still there, but the can was draped over. The box and cloth were gone. When did? When did this happen? I asked. Just before you came along, Rosamond said. You are my first passenger for reading the future. Now you have a new case, and you owned my me three cents. I don't have a three cents, I said, and you don't have a box to put in it. I will give you some the case, Rosamond said. This is a very famous box. It's the first box that my cat Super has ever slept in. Rosamond gave me a strange look. I was the only kind of look she said she had. Very, very well, I said. I will take your case. Does your famous box have a cover? Does it have a collar? What size is it? It's a white box with Rosamond print on, on one side of it. Rosamond said, "It doesn't doesn't have a cover. It's big enough to hold around a hundred dollars in pennies." How big is that? I said. I asked. Rosamond pointed to her house. The box is smaller than my house. Smaller than my garage. Smaller than this crate, smaller than 
Never mind, I said. Rosamond shrugged. I read the future item the messer box. I took out my notebook and tore off a piece of paper. I wrote a note to my mother. Rosamond grabbed my note. I will deliver this while you solve my case. Rosamond walked off with her her four cats. Suddenly, I sat down at the crate. The crate had a labeled on it bananas. Maybe the box is still here somewhere. I said. Suddenly, I peered under the table. The box wasn't there. Suddenly, we saw that six there. Two belonged to Annie, and four belonged to her doll friend. Can you read my future? Annie asked. No, but I can read Fang's future. I need the grid to predict that someday Fang is not. I Fang is going to buy the surgeon me. Today could be the day. Sergeant, I rush up. I call it back to Annie. Have you seen an empty box with Rosamond's name on it? And big enough to hold and hold her the hundred dollars in pennies? No, Rosamond. Sh- Annie shouted. We have to look for. We have to look for Claude. I said to Sarge, looking for Claude. Would be harder than than looking for the box. Carl was always getting lost. He we went to Carl's house. I rang his doorbell. I knocked on his door. I picked up through out his window. Somebody tapped me on the shoulder. It was Claude. Are you looking for me? He asked. I want. I was lost by, but I found myself. Good work, I said. I am looking for Rosamond's box. I think you saw it last. I saw it on the grass just before I went into the her garage to get her crate. Rosamond Claude said, carrying the that crate was hard work. It kept bumping into my stomach. I put it down on the grass, grass by the table, just where Rosamond wanted. All the time I kept watching for Rosamond. I hope, I hope she wouldn't come, but be out before I could get away. Get away? Yes, I was tired of being Rosamond's moving man. After I put the crate down, I started to run. Then what? I tripped over the pile of tuna fish. Cause then, I fell down the, on the grass, but the box wasn't there. I would have seen it. That explained why the pile of a, that explained why the pile of cans was tripped over. I said, but. It doesn't explain the, where the box went. I need the grace to say that somebody must have taken it. While you were in the garage and Rosamond and her cat were in her house, but who who would want an empty box with Rosamond's name on it? Claude Sugar. Somebody is criminally disappeared for a box. Somebody is for for a box. I said. Sarge and I rushed to Finley's house. Finley owned a rat. The rat slept in a big box until he chewed it up. The Finley got a new box. Maybe it was time for a new box for a Finley's rat. Maybe Finley took Rosam Rosamond box. I saw Finley outside with his rat. There was a big chew of 
box beside the red with red half printed on it. I am looking for an empty box big enough to hold one hundred dollars in the pennies. I said, "It belonged to Rosamond. My box belonged to my rat." Finley said, "But there are plenty of boxes at the supermarket. They have the biggest one. If you can find Rosamond box there, go to the dump." They have the worst ones. I will look for. I look. I I will look for the best. I said. I need the green. Do not like them. Suddenly, I went to ro- the supermarket. Such had to wait outside. I went. I went inside. I looked for empty box. I saw open, open box and the. S- Sank, full of oranges and potatoes. I saw open crate, full of tomato, tomato and bananas and crate, carrots. I saw labels on the on on the box and the crate. I remember that Rosamond crate has the label bananas on it. She probably got the here crate at this supermarket, but that was no help. I need the crate. Did not need a crate that said bananas or a box that said oranges. I need a box that said Rosamond. Suddenly, I smelled something pinky. A lady was was handing out. A Pancake sample. I took one. Then I circled around and and took another. The third time around, she said, "No more." I left the supermarket. I need three. Need more pancake. Suddenly, so in a bone, we went home. We ate and thought. I keep thinking about the empty box. There was something else empty too. My head. Was I, was I missing a big clue? I thought back. An empty box, a table, a sign, four cans of tuna fish. Rosamond saw all these things before she and her cat went into her house. Claude saw them. Caught so damned before we went into Rosamond's garage. Then the empty box was gone. Only the empty box. Why? Perhaps the table was too heavy to take, and no one would take a sign that said Rosamond reads future two cents. And Rosamond read the future two cents. But why not take the can of tuna fish? Why take it on the empty box that isn't worth worth anything? I need to read. Suddenly had a had a had a answer because the box isn't worth anything. Somebody must have seen the empty box and picked it. Picked it up and、uh, tore it away, but it had a Rosamond name on it, just on one on the one side. Maybe her name wasn't seen. Rosamond's box was probably gone to the dump by now. I said to Sarge, "Where the worst box box go?" Sarge and I hurried to the town dump. There were mountain of stuff there, all the red, red, broken, disturbing things. Things that nobody wanted. I did not want them either. We were down, down in the dumps. I said to Slot, but then on, t- on top of the one mountain of junk. I saw something. A box was sticking out 
and I could see a big R printing on one side on it. At last, it must be Rosamond Box. We have to climb up that mountain for John. I said, "Sarge, Sarge, look it at me." He did not want to do it. I did not want to do it. I want to do it. But we did it. Up, up we climbed over lumpy mattress, mattress and broken furniture, and old shoes and ugly clothes. At last, we were the, uh, at the top of the hill. I grabbed the empty box. Now I could read the whole name on it: Red House. It was not Rosamond Box. It was a true up box that had once been up. Oh, how humble for a feeling rat! I was mad. I was tired. Sarge was tired. We sat down. I put my arm around Sarge, and we sat there, on top of the world, on top of the world of junk. I looked down. Down was way, was way down. I was afraid to stay, stay, and afraid to leave. But we had to leave. Let's go, I said. Sarge, I, I started to climb down. Sarge was scared. Don't look down, I said. Sarge, keep his eyes up. <coughs> Then I stopped it. That was it. The answer to my case. I have given myself the clue I needed. I have just solved the case. I said, "We we must go back to Rosamond House." I grabbed a lumpy mattress. Mattress. Sarge and I said, "Said, slid, slid the rest of the way down on the mattress." We brushed all ourselves off. Then we rushed to Rosamond's house. She was sitting on the crate with her cat, waiting for Bunny's. Bunny's, I did. I did love you. No, no, she said. Did you find my box? Yes, I said. Where? So where is it? She asked. You are sitting on it. I asked. I said, "I'm sitting on a crate, not my box." She said. Rosamond and her cat stood it up. See, I landed. I land, landed down and picked up the crate, and there, uh, under it was Rosamond's box. My box. Rosamond said, "It it was inside." It was inside my crate. Yes, Cat put the crate over the box, but he didn't know it. Rosamond picked up her box. Why did he know it? She asked. Cat told me he was carrying the crate near his stomach. I said, and he was looking for you at the same time. That meant the witty was looking above the crate. But what was happening below? Claude did not know. Claude did not look down. Claude did look, look, not look down when he put the crate over the box. Then he started to run. He fell. He kicked it over the can, and that was when he noticed that the. Box wasn't there. After he had made it disappear, that that the last time I asked God to help, that the last time I asked asked God to help me, Rosamond said, God will be glad of glad to hear that. Well, I said, Rosamond hugged her box. But how did you figure it this out? There were much, there were much clues, many clues. I said, 
but I didn't know it. You told me that your box was smaller than your crate. That was a clue. Rosamond was squeezing her her box. Tell me more clues, she said. I was I saw crazy in the box. A supermarket. I said I figured that you got their banana crate there. I bought a lot, lot of, lot of, lot of bananas at the supermarket. Rosamond said until until the banana crate was empty. Then, then they gave it gave it to me. I need to green notice that all the crate at the supermarket had an open top. That means that means that your crate must have an open top. But you you keep you keep your crate upside down to sit on it. The open top was at at the bottom. And and it fit right over your box, and hide it. Rosamond was all excited. She was crushing her famous box. I had done all my hard work for a crushed box, but my work was over. I said I solved the case when Sergeant I went. At the dump, and I told him not to look down. Not to not to looking down was the key clue. You ran to the dump for me, Rosamond exclaimed. I must I must do something for you. I will read your I must do something for you. I will read your future. Choose two time for. Three, I three times for ten times. I will give you give you as many futures as you want. I can read my own future. I said. I gazing into the crystal ball. I see a detective and this and his dog. I said. They are going to disappear, and that was the thought. And I did. The end.